Well, good morning everybody. Just a little bit before 11, so I hope to um, actually start on time and wish you all a very good morning here at Tech Savvy. Um, wanted to just begin by just um, telling you that we're covering today uh, Windows 10 Basic and uh, its accessibility and what that means in terms of accessing and making your computer more accessible. So just before we begin, I'll just tell you what we'll be doing next week. Uh, next week we will deal with creative apps, uh, both on Windows and iPad, and hopefully that will enable us to see a range of different tools that you could use to access your computer and make it more accessible and make it more interesting in terms of drawing and uh, being able to actually use those those graphics tools um, so that's next week creative arts and that'll be the theme and then after that we'll go back to iPads and see what they can do so Let's begin without further ado. Um, I think it's just, oh, it's still not 11 o'clock, so I ought not to start um, too soon. Um, so I hope you are coping well in uh, lockdown and that you also have uh, lots of things that you're doing, projects and learning. It's a, it's a good opportunity to not only catch up on the household jobs, but also to develop some new skills. Uh, learning is an exciting thing and uh, we, can, we can never stop learning. It's always something worth having and worth doing. So that's what's really important is being able to continue to grow and develop your skills. And uh, the whole aim of Tech Savvy is to try and help you with developing some of those skills and making your computer more accessible, uh, particularly today. So. Let's, uh, let's begin now, as it's just gone 11 o'clock. Hopefully some people will be joining us. Welcome to Tech Savvy. This is Tech Savvy 7, would you believe we've done seven of these so far? And today we're looking at um, accessibility options in Windows 10. Um, next week we'll be covering Creative Arts. So in all of those things, I'm just making sure everybody's got the message. Um, there will also be a watch party after this session, which will go through the whole of this again. So do, if you want to see the repeat, just, just carry on, hang on, it'll come back again. Um, so without further ado, let's turn the screen over and uh, we're going to actually look at um, uh, my computer here. And the first thing to make your computer accessible is to personalise it. And to personalise it, we're going to do something that is really quite simple to do, but maybe you didn't know. Uh, and that is to actually change the background picture here. So if I right mouse click and just go in a little bit clearer on that. So let's, yeah, if you can see it there. Yeah. And uh, all you need to do is click on personalise and you go into the background area of your computer. Now, as you can see, um, that is the picture we're seeing there and it's chosen to fit. Um, but you can also choose other backgrounds. For instance, this one, um, which is a picture I took. That will change the background to that. And then uh, I can go back in again and change it another little bit and personalize it. Sorry, the picture isn't very clear there. And go back in. Oh, maybe choose another picture. Um, this is a picture that um, I, I took in Bath uh, last year. And it's a, one of those sort of static artists that uh, are on the streets. So I'm going to choose that as my background. Uh, if I choose to stretch it, it would look very weird. So I particularly want to just keep it simple. Of course, you could choose background colours 
and that would make it stand out more for some conditions. Black is obviously very good um, because, uh, because that would uh, stand out for somebody with visual impairments to be able to access their computer. So if I click back over here now, you can see the picture has changed and uh, that, that's, that, that's how you can personalise your computer. Well, that was really just as an aside. What we're actually going to do now is we're going to go in and make some fundamental changes to the um, way the computer displays uh, not only the uh, icons, but also the pointer and also uh, the way the screen can be uh, customised to um, help somebody who may have visual impairments. So for that, I need to go into ease of access. I clicked on settings. I then go into ease of access and uh, immediately you're taken into a range of different options here. I don't aim to go in 15 minutes through all of these, but basically just to highlight the ones that I find really helpful. And so I'm just going to pick one or two of these. So the first one is that we can make all the text much bigger if we wished. We could make it go right up to 212%, 24%. And when I click off here, you will find, I'll just check that I haven't got to save anything. It will have automatically changed that down here. Or not, as the case may be. It's a little bit bigger down there. But my personal favourite is this little area here, just down here, just taking it down to around about um, just 100% for me, 111. We'll let it stay there. You can actually make everything bigger in one shot. This is where you can make those changes. So you'll instantly see that the operating system has got bigger and then I can go right up to 225%, which makes it extremely big. And that also changes down here. So all of that becomes bigger. So if you prefer a bigger display and don't want to wear your glasses, then making everything bigger will really help that. I'm going to take it back down to 125 or maybe 150, which will make it easier for you to see on the screen. There we go. So that's the first one. Now, the one that I really like, really like indeed, is cursors and pointers. And if I click on that, uh, this little area here, it will dynamically change the pointer. So I can have a very, very big pointer, which you can see is instantly changed. So if you've got somebody who has macular degeneration and needs a really huge pointer, then that is the one that I would choose. It's a little bit too big for me at the moment, so I'm just going to change that back if I can. It's a little bit harder to, to actually hit the button down there. Oh, come on. You want to go. Okay, hold on one second. Well, I've never had that problem happen before. So what's happening there is it's not actually doing the job. Um, it's actually finding it really hard to target that little area there because that is getting in the way. So maybe some changes aren't so good on that. Um, give me one minute. I'll see if I can uh, get back to ease of access. There we go. Excuse me one minute while I come in there. And if you type in ease of access, it will bring up the right settings. We'll go back. 
to ease of access display settings. And I'm going to change the pointer because that is too big and on a surface device it's not so good. So I'm going to just cut that down a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to um, high contrast now. Uh, again, if somebody has problems seeing the screen, we can click on uh, high contrast, turn on the high contrast key, and you will find that the computer changes the background. This is my personal favorite, because if you go down to the bottom of the screen here, you will find that uh, all the programs that you're used to using down here, like Word or, or anything like that, will also change. And you can see that, that they actually highlight. Now that's really useful. The same applies here. So then you see little boxes are appearing around the programs that you might want to use. So I'm just going to find Word. There it is. Put that up on the screen. So you get to see what um, what this looks like. So what happens now is all of these icons now are much more clearer, even on this kind of ropey system here on Facebook to do video. And you can see that uh, options are coming clearer. So if you've got somebody who struggles with finding these icons on the screen, then you might want to consider uh, using high contrast white. Of course, high contrast comes in a lot of other forms as well. So I'm just going to go back to here and we'll go back to ease of settings. Yeah, bring that back and you can actually invert it with black. So that's what happens when you choose black. And of course, if I go to Word, you'll find that that is uh, inverted as well. So if you find it easier to have that kind of way of working, then please try that. Sorry about the lack of focus. It will come back in again a little bit. OK, perhaps not the best look in the world. So I'm going to take that out, um, just minimize it, change this back to normal view, which basically switch it off. And we're now back to our normal desktop. So what I'm saying is none of these options are irreversible. They all can be changed and uh, reversed. It's purely just to help at the moment. So that really concludes what we do on Tech Savvy today. I hope that, was been, that has been a helpful little session for you. And if you have any questions, do by all means put them down uh, on here so that uh, I can see uh, what you want to say. Uh, good to see you all. And I will now finish and the watch party will come on. So if anybody wants to come and follow that.